Another tool that we use when we're coming up with article or content ideas is called Souvle. I think that's how you say it. It's spelled S-O-O-V-L-E dot com. And what I really like about this tool is that it lets me go through uh, all of the Google Suggest, Bing uh, Autocomplete, uh, etc. tools out there. It allows me to go through them manually. Uh, and I like to go through them manually because I feel like that really gets my mind working. There's another tool out there called Uber Suggest, which is uh, basically automates this process I'm about to show you uh, and gives you all of the options in one long spreadsheet which is cool or one long display which is cool but I like this better just because I feel like uh, it gives me a chance to really think things through so to go back to the auto parts example for just a second we've got auto parts in here and uh, the Google suggest terms for that are warehouse which is a brand uh, this is probably a local term. This is definitely a local term. This is an interesting variation. People go to Google and search for auto parts and then add the word online, and that's always kind of mystified me. I mean, obviously, you're looking for something online if you're online, right? Uh, auto Parts International, I'd be curious. Maybe that's a manufacturer. Uh, as you, you can guess already that these, these terms are just as useful for helping you figure out content as they are for helping you find negative keywords in Google AdWords uh, and on uh, Bing's uh, the Micro Center or Ad Center, uh, Microsoft Ad Center platform. Anyway, here's how I use it for content. So I'm going to put in our main keyword or our main family, and let's just again, let's say it's Auto Parts. I'm going to put the letter A. It's going to show me all the Google suggests for Auto Parts with the, that that start. The next word starts with A. And again, we may see some brand names here, like uh, Auto Anything as a is a brand as a is a store. Uh, Auto Zone is obviously a store. We're also seeing a local term here in Austin and Arizona, and then kind of a generic term like aftermarket. Uh, if we go to like uh, B, we'll see some more local terms. We're seeing a manufacturer name. Um, this kind of thing kind of helps you get an idea of uh, how people are using your keyword as much as it does give you specific content ideas. So we've seen local and we've seen manufacturer. So could it be that maybe someone's searching for both the manufacturer and local at the same time? Yeah, probably so, right? Maybe someone is looking for BMW Auto Parts in Baltimore, and that gives us an idea for some content. Uh, we can also look at, uh, in addition to Google, we can also look at YouTube, which is not necessarily useful for um, specific article headlines or, ti or, or titles, but is interesting in that it gives you some, um, every once in a while, gives you some interesting ideas. So this is something to do with a 1911 auto parts. I'd be curious to dig into this. Maybe there's a content idea here, or maybe a community that's really passionate about 1911 auto parts, and this uh, community we could sponsor, or we could generate, you know, a niche piece of content for. When you're dealing with a topic area, it's very general uh, that you don't really know anything about. Like I do not know anything about botany. Um, I don't even know how to spell botany. Uh, if we go to YouTube, it gives us some interesting uh, variations of that term. Um, botany Boys, I would guess that that's a, a band or something. Um, I don't even know what that is. Uh, clearly, there's a song out there. So, you know, if we're, uh, let's say that we're advertising a botany study program and on AdWords and we need negative keywords, we would probably put uh, Botany Bay song or lyrics as our negatives. Uh, maybe we put B-O-Y-Z as a negative, or maybe we're selling whatever this Botany Boys thing is, and uh, maybe we don't want any of these others. Um, so anyway, this, uh, as you can see, the Souvlet tool is really powerful. One other area to highlight, um, you know, Google and Bing are going to spit out pretty similar, and Yahoo are all going to spit out pretty similar results. But Amazon is interesting because everybody on Amazon is a shopper, and that means that these keywords here have a higher commercial intent, perhaps, and some of the suggestions you'll get from uh, being Yahoo or Google. So uh, if we're searching for botany on Google, we might end up uh, being interested in like uh, science fair projects or something. But if we're on Amazon, we're looking for a book, a uh, CD, a DVD. Um, what is this? Uh, that's a book. Yeah, Botany of Desire. I think that's got to be a movie. But anyway, uh, this particular aspect of Souvle that pulls Amazon.com data is very interesting not even if you're not in the business of selling something online uh, this can kind of help you highlight your commercial intent so anyway that's another tool that we use and hopefully between this and the google adwords keyword tool you'll be able to come up with some great content ideas